We've been speaking more about city life. 关注房子，关注城市，更关注生活。I will see you every Wednesday night. 国际生活家直播采访秀 Vivian Speaking， 每周三晚七点半，不见不散。Well, good evening. This is a Vivian Speaking. Tonight, it's my honor to have、uh, Scott、uh, Cinemore with us.、Um, he's a head head of、uh, Tianjin International School. Good evening. Good evening, good Scott. You, yeah. Would you like to say something to our audience? Well, it's just great to be with you guys tonight.、Um, I've been in Tianjin for 20 years, and this is my first Vivian speaking. So it's a pleasure to be here. Okay, good. It's mean that we will have the second one later, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> All right. And today our topic is the benefits of bilingual education. Okay. So before we talk about our topic, actually, you know, Scott is a. Uh, it's not he. He he's not just a focus on one campus. Right. That's right. Uh huh. How many campuses、uh, you are in charge of in China? We have six campuses altogether in China.、Mm-hmm. We have Wuhan, Wuxi, Chengdu, Qingdao, and Yantai, and then here in Tianjin. Okay, I see. So,、uh, when we talk about the、uh, ta- time balance, okay. So,、uh, how much time、uh, you will focus on the Tianjin campus? About seventy-five percent of my time、okay. is focused here, and then twenty-five percent on the other schools. Oh, okay. Yes, I see. Because uh, uh, for the uh, period, uh, uh, we've been speaking, we interview lots of、uh, headmasters.、Mm. Okay, but they only focus on Tianjin. Okay, so compared to the other campus, do you say、uh, Tianjin campus? I mean, the students、uh, or you know facilities,、uh, anything different from the other campus? Tianjin is our oldest school.、Mm-hmm. Uh, we started here in 1986, so. We kind of view it as our, we say, mothership. It's、mm-hmm. the the place that we begin many of our、yeah. good ideas. We trial them here first, so it's our 总部 We can say. Oh, yeah, yeah. 好，那我这时候我也会就是在我们的节目的过程中，我也会说一些中文哈。因为今天呢，我很高兴的请到了就是来自美国的 Scott 先生啊。然后呢，他也是天津思睿。是吧？对啊，然后是总部这边的啊领导哈、啊，然后他也是总校长，是这样的一个情况。那他刚才我们提到了他的这个时间分配的时候，他也会说百分之七十五的时间呢，他还会就是重点放在天津这个校区，百分之二十五的时间会放在其他的五个校区。是。那今天呢，我们的话题呢，主要是双语教育的优势 ，the benefits of a bilingual education。其实我觉得，在看 Vivian Speaking 的节目的观众里面，可能大大家呢还是对这个话题会很感兴趣，就是双语教育。是。对，呃、uh, ，那好，那我的第一个问题呢就来了啊，呃、uh, uh, ，So、uh, who comes to your mind when you think about a truly bilingual person? Actually, to me, well, I think Scott is a typical bilingual person. Because you don't know how much that、uh, you know how good his、uh, Chinese is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So what about you? Who comes to mind? Well,、um, I'll I'll show a picture here in a second. But this person that I'm going to introduce is someone that taxi drivers always mention、oh, when I get in the taxi.、Okay. They say, "Hey, are you? I think you are like you know." And then they mention this. They、okay. mention a certain person. Okay. 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 So、oh, it's、yeah. it's Dasha.、Uh-huh. Um, he is. I mean, of course, Chinese people all know who this guy mm-hmm. is. Mm-hmm. He's from Canada,、yeah. but he has embraced Chinese culture and Chinese language and Chinese idioms. And you know, he's very di di dao de nega Beijing ren. We can say so. That's a great example of a bilingual person.、Okay. Bilingual and bicultural. You know, they go together.、Mm-hmm. So when when you talk about a bilingual person. Uh, what does it mean? Besides, you know,、uh, he can speak very, very good、uh, Chinese. Yeah. Well, bilingual is going to mean. I mean, a true bilingual is going to be able to think、mm. like the person in that target language. So they're going to have a strong understanding, a deep understanding of the culture as well as the language, and be able to communicate like a first language person with. Two different groups.、Mm. 
So okay. we're talking about Chinese and English here, but it could be any two, any two different languages. 就是当我们在提到这种双语的这种人物的时候，其实不光是一个语言，更多的也是一种思维的，没错，思维的思考。没错。OK， so what about the other people? Maybe other people we can besides give, uh, another story, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I do. I, I like this story. So there's this there's this guy.、Mm -hmm. um, he was a just a, a low level factory worker in Shanghai,、mm -hmm. making electric meters. And most of his friends would just kind of hang around and you know smoke and you know have fun when they didn't have to work. But he was always studying his English.、Mm. And then when they needed things to be translated there, he would be the guy to translate. So, but his his friends kind of laughed at him. They didn't really think too much about it.、Mm -hmm. But then later, after a long time, the government needed a translator, and he left to join the government to provide that needed translation. He never came back because he he gained success in that, and through his through the doorway of、mm -hmm. being bilingual,、oh. he actually became Chinese foreign minister.、Mm. His name is Yang Jiechi. Wow.、And、I don't know if I have my tones right there, by the way. Yang Yang Jiechi, yeah. Yeah, yes, Yang Jiechi.、Yes. So, and there's、oh. there's a couple of quotes here on the screen that I think capture、uh -huh. his thinking.、Uh, we are living in a good time. There are、mm -hmm. many good opportunities. Yes. Nowadays, almost everyone can speak some English. The But the ones who stand out, who stand out are the ones who are proficient. Proficient, very yoshio 的。对。Yeah, saying a few, saying okay or something like that is、mm. not enough.、Mm -hmm. So this just shows you where being bilingual can take you. 嗯，那刚才 Scott 先生提到的也是外交部部长杨洁篪哈，然后他的一段就是很有意思的这个历史，也是因为他是作为一个双语的人才。啊，他才能够做到现在的一个呃一个怎么说呢？一个一个这样的工作吧。Sure. 啊，对。Sure. OK， so how about we go fast through the benefits of being、uh, bilingual? Sure, we can do that.、Mm. Um, one one benefit, and these all three of these are somewhat related to each other.、Mm -hmm. But a student that is bilingual is just more aware of language in general、mm -hmm. and more skillful in using it. So what that means is that, let's say I, I speak Chinese、mm -hmm. and then I become bilingual. I learn English as well. It makes me a better speaker of Chinese too, because I'm more aware of Chinese as I use it.、Mm. Um, it also helps me to be more sensitive to other people. I'm probably a better listener because、mm. I'm used to like, now what are they saying? You know, I, I really have to listen、yeah. to catch that second language.、Mm. So. We can all use a little more practice at being good listeners,、mm -hmm. right?、Mm -hmm. And then the last one—not the last one, but the last one right here—is、mm -hmm. that there's more options for employment. Okay. Because you can be a bridge person, you know, between two different cultures,、mm -hmm. and there's a, more options for employment means more ways to actually make a better salary. I mean, yeah. I, I don't think that's the best、mm -hmm. benefit, but it definitely there's research to back up the fact that、mm. bilingual people are better paid people. Okay. 那么这时候我们先提到的一个双语教育有哪些优势哈，我们快速的过一下这边。那么第一点，刚才 Scott 先生提到，就是因为你会去注意这种语言，那所以说呢，你会更善于运用它啊，这是一个语言的运用方面的一个优势。那么第二点呢，就是当我们在跟对方沟通的时候，因为我们会仔细去听对方说什么，可能对于。对方的一些呃呃思路啊，包括他们想表达的一些内容呢，我们会更加敏感啊。第三呢，就是呃很简单也很好理解。一会儿呢，我们会用一系列的数据来表达这个，就是更多的一个就业机会啊。那我现在也请我们的导播切到下面的一个 PPT。对，嗯，对。So some of these that are, well, I'll just go through a few of these as we try to go through this part quickly.、Mm -hmm. So the Economist says that the annual income. Of people who speak one foreign language is 67,000 higher than people who don't. Yeah. And there's some other figures here as well. I think the third one is especially interesting.、Mm -hmm. People from non-English speaking countries who have good English skills、yeah. can earn 25% more than those who don't.、Mm -hmm. So especially English just happens to be the language of business in the、yeah. world. So、okay. it's a great advantage. Okay. So according to the website. Yeah, this one and this one, yeah. Okay. Marginal revolution. Yeah. Twenty-five, right? Twenty-five. Yeah, twenty-five percent more than those who don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it's 
And then there's just a couple of other figures on the next, next slide, both mm -hmm. in Europe and in North America. You know, the value of an employee that is bilingual is very high. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So it's definitely going to help somebody get a job and succeed better among the other advantages. Okay. So maybe... Just like you. See? If we weren't bilingual, we couldn't be having this conversation. Yeah, sure. But I didn't make that, you know. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> okay. So next, uh, what, uh, what are your goals for your uh, child's uh, English speaking and for their future career? Actually, my son now is seven years old. Yeah. Maybe uh, this is a very good question for, for me mm. as well, mm. right? So what are your goals? For yeah, your, for I was thinking, English? you know, I was thinking, uh, to be honest, I didn't think th that far, okay, for mm. the, his uh, future career. I, I didn't think that far, but I'm thinking, uh, I, definite, uh, I definitely want my kids can speak very good English. But mm. uh, because I think if uh, he can speak good English, then he can... Uh, make more friends, okay, yes. more international, and can mm -hmm. um, be more open, right? Actually, yes. this is a, I think this is my goal. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, it's. I think this is a good kind of goal because mm -hmm. it's not too specific, and it allows him to still have some choice at mm -hmm. the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So. It's opening a door for him, mm. and then he walks through the door, and he has more possibilities mm -hmm. than he would otherwise, more friendships than he yeah. would otherwise. More friendships. And he's a different kind of person than mm -hmm. he otherwise would be. So all the other stuff about jobs and so forth, that comes later, mm -hmm. but I think that the kind of goals you have are actually the ones that are going to be most helpful to encourage him to, to okay. continue. Yeah. To me, actually, English is kind of a tool. It is. A communication too. Like my son, he's a very, um, actually he's open-minded, just like me. Okay, he, he, he actually he can make friends very quick. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, I have lots of activities involved, lots of foreigner people. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course, they have foreign kids. But for him, you know, it's a little bit hard for him to make, make friends. Yeah, make friends, right? So what if uh, his English is good, right? Mm -hmm. Mm. More friends. Yeah. Yeah, this is for sure. Sure. 那么我们现在呢，也是在沟通哈。我我我我觉得我们就是我们现场的观众呢，我我觉得也也可以再去思考这个问题，就是您的孩子学习英语的目标到底是什么？我觉得这个很关键啊。就是说，因为现在很多的中国家长都希望自己孩子说一口流利的英语。那你为的是什么？嗯，是你你是想让他以后有很好的工作？啊、uh, ，还是你有让他有更加 open 的一个人格啊？ Mm -hmm. uh, 我觉得这个，我觉得还是挺关键的，可能会塑造这个孩子以后未来的一个发展。其实对于我来讲的话，因为我们孩子现在七岁嘛，他也是现在处在一个英语学习的一个阶段。但是对我来讲，我希望他说一口流利的英语，就像我现在一样，我觉得我能说英语，我很开心的一点就是我能交到更多的朋友。嗯，啊，这可能就是我的一对自己一个期望值，也是我对我儿子一个期望值。Sure. Uh. Sure. Yeah, I think what you said before with English being a tool, it's it's not the goal. Mm. It's a way. To yeah, the it's goal. a way. It's you a know? way. 更多是一种方式。Sure. Uh. Sure. 没错。好。没错。对，看我们也我们已经逐渐达成一个共识了，在这一点上。<laughs> 对，但是呢 ，Scott 先生呢，在这个嗯呃,呃双语教育方面呢，他有他自己很深刻的一个理解。啊、uh, ，我们下一步呢，我们来一步步的探求一下哈。The understanding of the research. The research. Yes. So there's a, there's a few things that I want to share here, mm -hmm. and actually this the stuff that I'm going to share tonight is not it, it's fairly basic, but it mm -hmm. helps to correct some understandings about English learning and how to how yeah. to how to pursue it. So this was something that I actually studied when I was working on my doctorate degree. And I was able to be in a Chinese public school mm. in Xi'an doing doing research here. So, a few things to say. One of them here is about when. When you know when when should you begin this this English study? And I think early essentially is everybody I think generally understands mm -hmm. early is good. It's possible to be too early. Mm -hmm. um, you don't want to work too hard on English when they don't have their Chinese. 
foundations settled yet. You mean the Chinese, uh, their first lang yeah. language foundation Whatever, is, very, right. is the, very important, the right? The first language must be settled well before you start working too hard on the second. Mm. But the elementary years, you know, you've already had a number of years at home learning your first language. Mm -hmm. Elementary years are a great, a great time to study that. But it's not, the, the other thing is that you don't want it to replace that first language. Because mm. sometimes children can grow up and they can spend several years learning one language and then they move on to another and almost completely bury the first one. Mm. So the idea would be you have a goal of adding to it. Mm. So they're using both languages at the same time so that the goal is, it's called additive bilingualism, mm -hmm. where you get two at the end. Not one replacing another, mm -hmm. but the two at the end. Mm -hmm. So that's, you know, getting an early start is a good thing. I think we all know that, but I just wanted to confirm that here at the beginning. Scott先生他提到一点我觉得对我是很有帮助的一点是什么呢其实我们当我们提到百宾国的 非常重要，特别特别重要啊！对，而且这个母语的学习它是可以促进它的第二语言的学习。是，咱们一会儿就谈这个。好，好，好，好。Okay, let's move on. 嗯，对。So <笑><笑> so, a, a few things here. One is the steps of language acquisition. So the first step is that they'll use their first language even in second language situations. So what I mean by that is this. They'll come, we, we have students come to our school mm -hmm. and they're in the, the younger years especially. The teacher is teaching in English and they ask a question and the kid responds in Chinese. Oh. Okay? This is normal. They're, they're just early in their language acquisition. They understand enough of what's happening mm -hmm. in English mm -hmm. to be able to respond, mm -hmm. but their English is not no, yet no, good, not enough good, good enough to actually, so yeah. they, they do 用中文就回答这个老师说英文的问题, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, that's fine, it's normal. The teacher doesn't need to say, you need to speak English, because mm -hmm. at the first level, mm -hmm. the fact that they have some kind of, you know, you know mm -hmm. they can understand what's yeah. being said is good. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's one characteristic of an early language learning mm -hmm. phase. Another one that's on here is called the silent period. This is very interesting. Yeah. What does it mean? Silent period means when a kid first gets put into a English, let's say, second language environment, mm -hmm. they're first going to do a lot of listening. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what to say. They don't know what to think actually quite yet. But maybe a parent at the beginning, if a parent has put their child into an English study situation, gets a little bit jiaoji because they're like, I'm paying all this money and they're not saying anything. Come on, you know, and then maybe they, <laughs> they you know, try to get their kid to hurry up. Yeah. It's impossible to make them hurry up, you know, because this silent period is actually really important. Um, some of the research says maybe they're learning how to think, think, think in the second language mm -hmm. uh, during this time. So there's no need to push. push. It yeah. will it will happen. It will kind of gradually Finally. go away. Yeah. So shall I keep going? Yeah, sure. Um, another another step that happens later is students will start to use memorized phrases. So maybe they've learned how to say, you know, good morning teacher mm -hmm. or what time is it or may I go to the bathroom or things like that. Um, or some words, yeah, and some words, sentence, words right? sentence, phrases yeah. that are memorized. They'll start using those. Maybe they'll, you know, they learn a new word and they use it all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they use it correctly. Sometimes yeah. they use it incorrectly. But the point is, they're they're producing language. Mm -hmm. So again, that's a good thing. We don't have to say, oh, wait, 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 wait. You use that wrong. Your grammar is wrong. Mm -hmm. No. As long as they're, mm -hmm. yeah. that's, you know, it's encouraging, right? That's right. Mm. That's right. Okay. And then finally, you know, after they get through these phases, then actually really using the language to have a conversation mm -hmm. will start. But the, the key is that to, I, to recognize that some of these early stages are part of the normal 
good language learning process. Mm. You don't have to be worried, you don't have to push, just continue to have them in an, a language rich environment and they're going to make progress. Okay. Yeah. 我我觉得就是刚才 Scott 先生他提到的这几个步骤哈，非常的重要。而且如果说我们的家长不太了解的话，那希望孩子恨不得就是学了几个月英语，立马就张嘴就能说的话，那我觉得他其实是不符合自然规律的啊、嗯。那么其实我觉得他现在提到的更多的用我们中文来说的话，我觉得他就是一个英语学习的或者第二语言学习的一个自然规律。而且呢，他把这些点，我觉得他提出来了哈。那第一点，比如说他提到，就是有时会在第二语言环境中使用母语，他刚才比如说他举到的一个例子是什么？哎，那么这个学生他听到老师他是用英语来跟他沟来沟通，他的第一反应是用他用中文来回复，其实这是可以的，是 OK 的，可以呃呃呃 acceptable。因为他是处在这个阶段，他能听懂，但是他的语言还没有发展到那么棒，能够用这个第二语言来回复啊。那这时候他可能会，呃，直接的会拿自己的母语来回复。那么第二个阶段，可以打断一下吧？ Okay, 好，可以。呃，刚到中国来的时候，嗯、还没有学习中文、嗯，那个时候，呃，我可能二十六七岁的时候、嗯，呃，我在高中学习法语。嗯，啊，所以已经过了十年吧，从那个学习法语的时间到我到中国来的时间，但是我一到中国来，那个时候还没有学习汉语，有时候我我需要回答一个问题，我知道应该用第二个语言，嗯，但是我我的第二个语言就是法语，所以我就是把法语说出来了，然后哎不管用，他他也听不懂，嗯 ，so I was using I was just reaching for Any kind of thing I could use to just just talk.、Uh -huh. So it's it's not it's kind of related to this this、yeah. this that was my language learning phase.、Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 很有意思哈。Yeah. Yeah. 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 那么第二个阶第二个阶段呢，就是沉默期。这个就是很多家长恨不得就孩子不要有这个这个阶段。啊、uh, ，是吧？ Yeah. 恨不得就赶快，嗯，就是没有这个沉默期。但是这个可能是一个，也许对于很多孩子，包括对我们来讲，可能他在大了以后才去学语言。但是这个沉默期也许是很长的一个阶段。嗯、mm. uh, ，我觉得这个可能 maybe it depends on the different personalities. It does, right? It does. It's longer for some than others. Yeah. Right. 啊哈，所以这个沉默期，如果这个孩子那的可能很多时候他只是去听，没有去说。我觉得作为家长来讲，不要 push 他。就是并不要不要非得就是呃强加于他，让他马上去说各方面。我觉得要给孩子时间啊。那第三个阶段呢？那可能你会发现他突然他会蹦出来一些单词， yeah. 或者是一些句型啊，很简单。OK， 这是哎，这其实我觉得这个是一个里程碑的一个点。对，我自己感觉那个时候肯定要鼓励他。对，哎，你有英语吗？对对对对对 ，Remember that you give me 啊、uh, ，give me your sense of。Example, yes. right? Yes. How you didn't expect、uh, he can speak some little words of、right. Chinese, right? That's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay.、Right. And then the fourth step is. 对，第四个呢， mm. 那就是很好的能够用用第二语言来沟通。其实它是一个完整的一个 process. 对， oh, 没错。嗯、uh, ，没错。对，我觉得可能任何一个过程，它都不能够丢失。只是说，有的人他这时间长，有的人时间短。对。是这样的一个过程哈。是是是是。OK， 嗯。There's there's a couple of other things that are really important as far as the research that are very practical for parents from this guy, Dr. Jim Cummins. He's a French Canadian researcher. 嗯。Or at least he researches the use of French language learning in Canada. 嗯。So one of them is has to do with something. Oh, I, yeah. There's there's two of them. So first of all, there's this thing called basic. Interpersonal conversational skills,、mm. which is a a long name for just being able to 流利说话 conversation like we're having now. Yeah. And oftentimes, learning language it just takes a couple of years to reach that kind of fluency.、Mm. And so sometimes what happens in is you're like, okay, great, he's done learning the language.、Mm. And then I, I know that there was a, a question that came in tonight actually that、yeah. was about this because. The kid could probably speak English just fine,、mm. but then in the classroom, he wasn't doing so well.、Mm. They're like, "What? What's wrong?" But the the issue is that it takes five to seven years for learners of second languages to catch up with native speakers in this something called cognitive academic language 
proficiency. All of the words about math and science and these these professional academic use, use sure, mm-hmm. sure, academic vocabulary. Mm-hmm. It takes many years to catch up in those areas. Yeah. So just because somebody can talk, 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 talk about daily life mm. doesn't mean they will do well in the classroom no. immediately. But also, just because they are not doing well in the classroom immediately doesn't mean, oh no, what's wrong? You mm-hmm. know, it just takes longer. So again, be patient. Mm-hmm. Give time. 那这个其实 Scott 先生在谈论这个问题的时候，我因为我们有一个在美国，就是他的孩子初中的时候就去到了美国哈，然后上学，他就会发现，哎，我们孩子英语口语还是可以的，但为什么他一上课，啊，他就会觉得很难。其实这就是我们现在在谈的 the key difference。That's right. 就是不同，还是不同的阶段，对吧？如果可能，嗯、呃，简单的口语交流啊，那可能是需要一个时间。这块来说的话，可能是通常是 normally， 呃、uh, ，it it it takes two years， right？ right. OK， right. to reach these standards。但是如果你想达到 native speaker， 那那那就是在很多我们平常不用的一些词语，尤其像在上课的时候，我们的很多术语我们说用、yeah. 中文， OK， right. Right. 那可能就需要五到七年的一个时间。嗯， that's right， that's right。One last research-based、uh, topic has to do with. We got this picture with the brain.、Mm. Sometimes we feel like, okay, in my head, I've got the first language part and I've、mm. got the second language part, and they're not connected. This is not correct. Okay.、Um, this is a false understanding of how your brain processes language. Yeah, I thought you know my left、uh, head has a first language. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got Chinese over here,、yeah. English over here. So actually, a better way to understand the way your brain processes、mm-hmm. language is an iceberg、mm. with two. You know, it has two parts sticking up, but underneath it's、mm-hmm. all connected. So, what it means is that a lot of my language skills are shared between both languages. My ability ability to read, to comprehend, to analyze and answer questions, all of those kinds of things. Are it, it's shared、mm. between both the Chinese side and the English side, so、mm. to speak. Only the actual words are are different. So the, this is actually really good news for Chinese parents who don't speak English.、Mm. They feel like my kid is learning English. I don't speak English. A, I can't help them. Yeah, I can't. But、help. actually, you can.、Uh-huh. If you, and we'll talk about this more in a bit, but. If you can help them grow in their ability to read and understand and do well with Chinese literature、mm-hmm. and so forth, that is helping them be better at English because those skills are common、mm-hmm. to both languages.、Okay. So the better of、uh, their first language, this is going to be very helpful to improve、Absolutely. their second language. Absolutely.、Right? Yeah. Okay, got it. 呃，这个这个这个冰山的哈，这个冰山的比喻特别的有,有意思哈。我们导播给切一下哈。那其实呃，就刚才我们俩说的特别有意思哈，就是其实你的你的就是你的第一语言和第二语言，其实像这种功能在你的大脑里，其实它是融合在一起的。对。而且你的第一语言的能力，其实它也是在决定你于第二语言的你的一个逐渐的一个学习的能力成熟度啊。所以我觉得它都会是互相有帮助的。嗯。Yeah, and this even extends to things not just skills, but think about something like the idea of justice or honesty or some、mm. other idea like that. If they can understand that in their first language,、mm. then they、so、understand it. Yeah. 不过什么语言都懂 Okay, it's gonna helpful, right? Absolutely,、mm. absolutely. Okay. Shall we go on? Yeah. So these these research things have、uh-huh. some very practical. Implications. I think. 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 I My child, become. 我的孩子的双语能力到底有多强呢 ？Yes. 嗯、mm. ，So some of it does depend on when they started learning the language,、mm-hmm. because their ability to pronounce certain sounds,、mm-hmm. for example, will be better 
if they started when they were young. But generally speaking, if somebody is going to be bilingual, their listening and reading can just be perfect. Mm. They read and understand, they hear and understand, no problem. Those are called the receptive skills. The productive skills mm. of speaking, mm -hmm. writing, um, probably you'll always probably be able to tell they're not a native speaker. Mm. Um, there are a few really gifted people that, you know, you're just like, wow, I had no idea you, you learned this language. Mm. But generally, um, you can, tell, you, you can right? tell because they, it's, it's not just about their pronunciation. The pronunciation might be perfect, but they don't use idioms and mm. other things the way a native speaker would mm. use it. So it's, it's not a big deal, but mm -hmm. it's just as far as your expectation, um, it's probably true that there'll always be a slight gap. Mm -hmm. So because of cultural background and idioms and things like that. Okay. 那我们第二个问题,这也是我们之前的观众提出来的 What can I do to help my child? 其实这个是一个非常 common question yeah. Yes uh, 对, Actually we talk about it right? uh, in, the, uh, in the previous mm -hmm. the PPT right? mm -hmm. Even though you are not good at the English right. Right? You still can help your kids Absolutely right? Yeah I mean, just, just reading with your child mm. um, in Chinese is fine. Um, you can have them read to you as well. Yeah. Um, and then to, you, it's really important to expose them to good models of English speaking. So it's not that easy to just find some native speaker and bring them into your home every week. Yeah. But through you know, books and mm. movies, um, you can definitely have native speakers' voices coming in so mm. that they hear it, hear it correctly, you mm -hmm. know, the, otherwise they might learn it wrong because they're hearing somebody say it wrong all the time. So that would be, that would be another thing. The, mm -hmm. the, the other thing I would say too is that they don't have that much opportunity to speak mm -hmm. in school. I mean, mm -hmm. imagine a class with 40 kids. Yeah. How often does one child get to really talk? Uh -huh. Not that often. Mm -hmm. So no. finding ways to support their use of English outside of school is really, really important. Mm -hmm. Even if you're gonna, even if you go abroad to mm -hmm. let them engage in a summer camp or something mm -hmm. like that with native speakers, so. Okay, 这块啊，我我我想特别说几句，因为我感同身受哈。第一就是说强调，如果我们家长英语没有那么好，没有关系，就像Scott说先生一样，OK，你就加强你们孩子的汉语。那么很多种方式，那么中文的阅读来，你你
placed blush, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And 就是他的他的自信心不会受到打击。Sure. Uh, yeah, I think this. Yeah, let me let me 强调这个一下吧。Mm -hmm. um, sorry, that was Chinglish. Let me <laughs> let me 强调一下。Um, the motivation uh -huh. is so important to learning a language.、Mm. If the if the child feels like they're being forced、mm. to do it, or they feel like English and punishment、mm. 都是一回事儿、mm. uh, there's no way they're going to learn that well.、Mm. But if English is a gateway for them. To engage in things that they like,、mm -hmm. then they have the motivation to do something. And this can even be different for girls and boys, because maybe I mean not always, but generally speaking, girls are going to value relationship and communication more.、Mm. And so English as a tool for relationship and communication, like you just said earlier,、yeah. is something they might value. But for your son, maybe he values that less.、Mm. But he likes playing squash,、mm -hmm. so English can help him play squash. So you're kind of matching his interest with the language and creating a situation where the language is an important way for、mm. him to reach his goal,、mm. reach his interest. That way, yeah, his motivation can can stay high. 对，我们这边谈到一个很重要的观点，就是说，呃，动机 motivation 啊、yes. uh, ，就是这个很重要，就是。呃，比如说，就是像我刚刚提到的，我儿子这边，我从来没有说让他去上一节往那一坐。啊，就是学习英语的课，但是我带他每周都会去打壁球，因为他的壁球教练是加拿大人啊，他能够跟他有一个简单的去交流，呃、啊，那么这个来点来讲，就是说他如果把英语说好了，可能对于他打壁球打得更好是一个促进作用，所以这是一个正向的啊。如果那么如果让他感觉到 OK， 我如果英语说不好，那可能跟惩罚是一回事儿的话，那肯定他会对英语学习会逐渐的反感啊。其实这个是我们想想表达的。Uh, sure. And sometimes,、oh, let me just say one one last thing here. Okay.、Um, you can tell. We talked before about what is what is your goal.、Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes people will say, "Well, I know three thousand English words." I know three thousand English words. 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 Tool、yeah. to the goal.、Mm. So this just memorizing three thousand words is not going to make you a fluent speaker of English. No, not at all.、Uh -huh. It'll get you a good TEFL score,、yeah. but you'll never, you'll never be able to talk to anybody. 我觉得 Scott 先生其实是一个非常好的例子啊。然后他的中文非常让我呃惊讶哈。I'm very impressive, <laughs> you know, the bio Chinese. 但是他告诉我他只会多少个单词，中文单词。Rent. 啊、uh? ，我才才会认五百个单词，才五百个单词，但是他中文能说的这么好，对，所以说这个认多少个单词，其实跟这个语言的流利程度是并不画等号的。对，啊哈，对，对对对对。好 ，That last one is important too. 啊，哦，对 ，last one. Find the summer activities that are delivered in English. Delivered in English. Yeah. Ah.、Uh. So you can. It's hard during the school year to be immersed、mm -hmm. in an English environment, but if on a vacation or something like that, your your child can、mm -hmm. have the opportunity to make friendships with people in another country、mm -hmm. that use the target language, this is great. Okay, 对，那么如果因因因为我们尤其是在 public school 啊，就是在我们的呃。呃，普通的一些学校里面，四十个孩子一节课的话，很难达到小朋友们都去说英语。但是如果说我们英语学习 ，Scott 先生他强调的还是浸泡式的一个英语。那这样的话，我们在暑假的时候，我们去选择一些机构，能够让他们来去啊、呃、更好的交流，去说英语，这个是非常重要的。这也是提醒我们这些家长需要去注意的哈。That's right. Okay. And then I just had the one example of a one particular English camp that I think is. Useful for middle school and high school. 嗯，那、um, 那一会儿的时候呢 ，Scott 先生会被我们推荐一个啊、呃，很棒的这个英语呃暑期。Yep. 啊、呃， yeah, yeah. 这个叫什么？暑假的夏令营。夏令营，对我们叫夏令营，对。Sure. 所以我说你的中文太好，比我中文要好。Okay. Actually, we talked about this. We part, did already.、Right? I'm okay. curious about other people's questions. 嗯，哦 ，other people's question. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 那那那这样哈，我们现在也是请我们大白啊来，就是，哦，我的，我们来一起再看看。
我们的网友有什么样的问题。There we go. Scoot over a little bit. 嗯，嗯、呃，大家好，我是大白，很高兴今天作为 Women Speaking 的评论部分，然后参与到节目当中。那今天呢，我们很高兴邀请到了思锐国际学校的 Scott 先生，然后来分享一些双语教育的话题。然后，那么下面呢，让我们来看看网友都有什么都有什么样的评论。那首先呢，我们今天节目呢，已经，嗯，啊。已经谈论了很多关于孩子的双语教育的问题。那我们网友又提出了，就是他作为成年人，想问一下，就是现在开始学习英语，他晚不晚？然后比如说，那因为他觉得作为成年人的话，他的记忆力包括精力都不如年轻人这么充足，所以想问一下，嗯、呃，他有没有什么样好的方式去学习英语 ？Yeah, this is a great question. 啊、uh, ，我觉得你可以用中文回复我。<笑>哎呦，哎呦，对、uh, 对，所以呃。那个学习语言的能力，分、嗯、是分两种的，小孩的，嗯，呃，能力跟他们的记忆力是有很大的关系，但是大就是成人,人，他们的那个能力跟他们懂语法的那个能力，哦，是很有关的、哦，因为你可以看到这个，呃，就是机构型的东西，嗯，小孩还是不懂语法的事情，嗯，但是成人啊、呃、会会。会这样的，我我我就是对，我我只我就是我我我不是二十六岁才开始学习汉语吧？嗯，啊，但是记忆力，呃，我我的那个时候记忆力已经开始下降了，但是二十六岁就开始下降了。哎，你你想小孩小孩是最最能记住东西了吧？但是哦，我我可以看到一些 patterns， 就是 grammar patterns， 类似于的那个，嗯 ，this language learning among adults。Is directly connected to their ability to understand the structure、mm. of language.、Mm -hmm. So the point is that person can be encouraged, even though they're already grown up. I encourage them to continue to study English、mm -hmm. or whatever language it is, because adults do have one advantage、mm. over the kids.、Mm. Yeah, 就是他们掌握语法能力。Yeah, 就是这个意思。他们有这个优势。对，就是成人更能。理解语法，然后学习这个语言的能力会比小孩更强。是，对，是是是是。然后，那么下面还有网友提提问到，就是，嗯、呃，相比于其他的国际学校来说呢，思睿学校更有哪些特色？哦，还真是。对于针对于对学校来说。嗯 ，some strong point. Yes. Of your yes. school. Yes.、Mm -hmm. So I'd like to mention three or four if I could. Mm -hmm. Um. So one of them, and I think there may be some pictures that come up here as well,、mm -hmm. in the arts,、uh, with music and band,、um, mm -hmm. some of the pictures that you're seeing. There's a, a couple of our students that went to Austria for some music competition, and then we move on to a, a combined choir and band concert、mm -hmm. that we put on actually just the other week in the Tianjin Yue Team.、Mm -hmm. I mentioned before that we have six schools. And so students from all six of those schools、mm. actually came together to do this kind of performance.、Mm -hmm. So music and the arts are very important at our school.、Mm. So that would definitely be one one strong point.、Mm -hmm. um, moving on down, there's this strange picture of eight、um, eight people dressed up in these strange-looking Chinese costumes.、Wow. Um, the interesting thing is all of those people are high school boys in grade ten in our school. Um, we have a strong emphasis in our Chinese program.、Mm -hmm. It's not just dressing up funny, although it is. You know, th this was for our China Day recently.、Oh. One of those guys is actually my son. But students that are ready to study Chinese from very beginning,、mm -hmm. 你好才知道的那个水平 all the way to 母语班 we we cover it all, and we really prioritize、mm -hmm. the strong Chinese and English language development、mm -hmm. of our students. 那个，请我们导播把这个图片再往下走，啊、uh, ，对，再往下走。Keep on going down. There we go. 好。So those are the English English pictures, and then if you keep going, we'll reach to the、um, the Chinese. 嗯。There we go. 对，好。Yeah. So that's that's from our China Day. So I'd say that number as far as 特色，嗯，一个是，一个是那个
就是 fine arts 这这个这个方面是比较强、嗯，另外就是那个就是中文学习中文的，从什么都不知道的，一直到母语母语班，就是跟跟本地的孩子差不多一样的水平，我们都有的，很重视这个。啊、嗯呃，第三个啊、呃，就是 this is just from our climbing wall。嗯。Um, the point is not the climbing wall. The point is that we have 全面教育，呃，不管是孩子的手。孩子的脑子、孩子的心、孩子的能力都都要提高。不光是 ，it's it's not just that students are academic machines only.、嗯、But the the last thing I will say, 最后的那个优势 ，um is there. This is just a chart with results. Um, it talks about our students' AP scores and our students' SAT scores. Both of these, you can see, they are much higher than the global average.、嗯 Students at our school are having high levels of academic success, and they're getting into excellent universities around the world. And so that's another strong point that's been true of our school for many, many years.、Mm -hmm. So those would be some of the key things I'd say as far as. 我觉得更更多的是全面的发展。对，全面的发展。不光是在一些文理科上的，哈。Sure. 嗯，是的。好，是的。对，好，我觉得我们是有一个简单的哈，对我们思锐学校的一个一个简单的一个了解啊。那好，我觉得可能今天的节目的时间也差不多了哈。然后我觉得呃，我自己呃是感同身受，因为这个话题我个人是非常的感兴趣，我也学到了，我跟 Scott 先生也是学到了很多啊。对。但是哦，刚才还是有一个，就是我们的这个学生家长提到的这个，就是说，因为他是初中留学生的一个家长，就是他们孩子在初中的时候就到了美国，嗯啊，然后他会觉得，就是他平常沟通的时候没有问题啊，但他上课的时候就会发现孩子很很难来接受，那这个时候呢，他就找到了美国的一个就是教授，因为这个人他之前在中国。啊、哦，他也教过课，所以说他这样的话，他跟孩子之间没有沟通，没有障碍。半个半年下来以后呢，孩子可能上起学来以后，他就会轻松很多。其实我觉得这个问题就 I I actually we talk e d talk about it, right? We did. 啊、uh, ，我们确实之前也沟通过。这就是说，其实英语学习它是不同的阶段，哦，没错，对吧？如果你是简单的，呃，我们可以达到那种 community communicable。Communication, right? Yes. 如果只是能沟通的话，可能是很短的，是相对短的时间，两年就能达到。但是如果你想在这些课上各方面能够达到，呃，听懂，能够很呃，就是很舒服那种感觉的话，其实还是需要孩子一个更多的一个努力。哦。And I think I can add one other thing in here. Um, students to to be prepared to go abroad and thrive in a in a second environment like this.、Mm. Students also need the, the, another way a parent can prepare their child for this is let them develop life skills as well,、mm. not just academic skills, because、mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they're going to need to learn how to do things as strange as、mm -hmm. you know cleaning up their room,、mm. washing their clothes,、mm -hmm. and managing themselves without. Mom and dad and teachers always there,、mm. you know. So it's just is 主动型的那个行为，不管是被动的老师让我那样的，家长让我这样的，他们要主动做一些这这些东西啊。嗯。If they don't have that, then their chances of success are much lower. Yes, I think this、uh, answer just、uh, goes with the one question: What you have to prepare in advance if your、yes. child,、uh, you know,、uh, want to study abroad in the future. That's right. Right. 呃，那么这时候 Scott 先生就是对这个问题来讲，就是说，如果你孩子以后我就是打算出国啊，那这样的话，我提前需要做哪些准备哈、啊？这也是我们一个国际学校呃家长。啊、uh, ，学生的家长他提到这个问题，其实 Scott 先生在这里面他强调一点是，不光是一个语言的问题，是孩子一个独立性的问题，而且这个独立性不光是能够照顾好自己，同时是思想上一个真正能够独立学习的一个能力。是，嗯，有时候家长以为他们就是帮孩子学习，所以他们说你光你光看学习的东西，其他的我都管，嗯、你不管。但是这个就是伤害孩子的，嗯，就是伤害孩子的。我不说公呃高考的那个那个那个情况吧、嗯，我就是说准备出国学习，你一定要看那个就是日常的那个、嗯、那个那个技术吧。对，所以说现在如果我们家长真心的哈为孩子好。
呃，那么其中很重要的一点就是说，现在不要再为孩子做所有的事情，让他尽量的自己去学会独立。对，嗯，这很关键。多说选择。对对对对对，嗯，特别好，大白这总结特别好。哎、<笑>好，那我想这这个呢，也就是现在呢，也是我们目前的一个节目的情况啊。Uh, I think this is today's Vivian speaking. Ah,、yeah. uh -huh, so thanks for joining us. It's my pleasure. I, actually, I learned a lot. So what about you, audience? So I will see you next Wednesday. 拜拜，拜拜，拜拜。